Hello everyone, I am Betts Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I originally was trying to do this live, but YouTube was um, freezing up on me and bouncing out, so I gave up. If you came over from my live that I announced on YouTube, I am very sorry. I'm going to try to get this up just as soon as possible, but I knew it would not be a good demonstration if I was having issues. Anyway, I am here today with Mod Podge Ultra Spray On All-in-One Glue and Sealer, and if you've done any paint pouring, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some paint pouring using the Mod Podge Ultra Spray On um, All in One Glue and Sealer. This can be used as your medium along with your paint to do paint pouring according to what I heard. So we're going to test that out. I've never paint poured with Mod Podge. Um, I have paint poured about once or twice. Um, it's not my favorite thing to do because I find that. Um, I use a lot of paint and it can be kind of expensive and a lot of paint kind of gets wasted uh, and the results are fast, but it's over quick. So when I do this, not saying it's a bad art, it is, it's just I prefer to do different, um, but I have done it and I have, you know, I've enjoyed the outcome of it. But when I do this, I tend to use as much garbage as I can find. I do not like spending bunny on a canvas to pour paint on it when that's not my necessarily favorite way to use my craft resources so I often paint pour on cardboard I'm going to might do a dirty pour today on a uh, panel that I have it's an art canvas panel at the end of this if I have leftover product we will see what you need to have is you need to have something to hold your pour in and it needs to be on an elevated surface. I just use trash. That's what I do. So um, I have three different little boxes that will do the paint pouring in today. And um, I'll have to set those aside to dry as we go along. But let me tell you about what I kind of learned already. All right, so with the Mod Podge, when you use the Mod Podge Ultra, um, you're going to want to shake the bottle for about 15 seconds. And then you are going to add your paint and then pour in your Mod Podge Ultra. This is a little bit too liquidy for my liking. I did the traditional uh, ratio, which is one thing of paint, one portion of paint, two portion of the um, the pour medium, which is the, the Mod Podge Ultra. However, this the acrylics that I'm using are also by Plaid, and they're a little bit more fluid, so I think that was too much. Um, and so I'm probably not going to use much white on this. I'll use more white when we do our dirty pour. So the next one that I did was I used this color shift and it's a gloss finish and I did it in the sunshine yellow and so this time I did equal parts and still it's a little bit too runny for my liking but I think it's going to work and then finally I just use the shamrock new shamrock matte acrylic paint and this one I did um three-fourths the paint so three portion paint to one part and that's about right I like that consistency so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my last color with you and I'm gonna do something a little bit fun and different and again I don't know if this is gonna work and um, I don't know how it's gonna play out but I think it's fun so I'm gonna be using this blue and then also I'm gonna add in some glitter so First thing I'm going to do is really shake my paint up, make sure that it's really shaken up nice, and I'm just going to add that in there, like so. And then I'm going to take my Glitterific, and I'm going to add some of this in as well. Give it a little bit of sparkle. So this is really thick. Okay. And then I'm gonna get my little trusty that. 
And I'm going to take my Mod Podge Ultra, give it a nice shake. You want to shake it for 15 seconds usually, but I've been using this this morning, so I don't need to shake it for that long. Um, now, if you want to have cells, Dina Wakely has a cell uh, creator little bottle, and it smells really good. You can add those. I'm, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the cells. Um, I, I tend to not use them. I tried to at first, and it's kind of cool, but sometimes you don't get them. So, you know, you got to play with it. Now, once again, I just kind of eyeballed it when I added in my um, Mod Podge Ultra. I'm not priming my surface. That's the one thing that I do like about paint pouring, at least when Dina Wakely did it in her medium, because I do have her whole pour system, is you don't have to prime your surface, which is really cool. So um, I'm going to see if I don't have to prime on this one either. I'm going to add in a little bit more glitter. So I think if this works out, I really appreciate that I do not have to use as much um, of the pore medium, which is my ultra glue, glue uh, my ultra, because it is, it, it just seems to not need as much as some of the others, like the Dina Wakely or the heavier acrylic. And that could have to do with the type of paint that I'm using as well. I don't know. But, haha, -ha, I have another one. I should really use this end. It's narrower. There we go. If you don't have these little handy dandy tools, you can always use popsicle sticks and Dixie cups. Seriously, this is an expensive, I think this is a, a pricey um, art. And if you enjoy it, it is totally worth it. But if you only do it occasionally like me, then, you know, go ahead and uh, just um, use, you know, what you have and trash and make it work. Now, I don't know if that glitter is going to work or not because I'm not seeing it. So this will be interesting. It may just add some cool texture. All right. So the first one I'm going to do is I do want to create a card. I do have, I do have something in mind for this. I actually have a, um, a hop coming up and I want to create a card and I want to do kind of, um, a, a landscape, in a in a loose way I think we'll call it so I'm gonna start off with my yellow up here in the corner and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of yellow and kind of let that move around on its own see where it goes what it does and then I want to pour some blue from there let it move around a little bit all right it's a moving and then let me do some green at the bottom here. All right. And you know, you can pick it up, move it around. I'm just going to actually just work with it right here on um, my little box as to not get my hands dirty. And it looks like I have a gallop of glitter right there. So, um, if you want to do glitter, I would do it after, but that was a good thing to try. Now, you know, right. And I'll probably go in and break it up a little bit. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna let this just set up and dry. I think I like how that's playing. 
I'm going to kind of break that up a little bit and call it good. All right, so I don't know if I have enough. I'm going to do one more little pour like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the canvas because I haven't used that white yet. But it does look like it gives a pretty good coverage. So for this one, I'm going to just use some white on it. And again, it is not... You know, it's not sitting flat. There is a little bit of an elevated surface to it. So I'm just using some white on this just to get it started. And then I'm going to go ahead and just pour in some of this blue. I don't really have much of a rhyme or reason to how I'm pouring this right now. Whereas the other one, I kind of had an idea. You know and then let's do some yellow and I already got it on my fingers so I will be washing my hands after this okay so this one's kind of cool I like this one I wanted to do two just in case one didn't turn out <laughs> and I had another option so this one's really cool I did use light colors but when you're working with acrylics it's not as important as when you're working with watercolors because they do tend to keep the integrity of the color quite nicely okay so I this one's fun I like how this is pouring and that white pretty much is gone which is okay um, but I can definitely see that um, the color shift in it like it kind of sparkles so that's really cool I do have a bubble up here, so let me go ahead and just try to work that out. All right, so I'm going to set this one aside, and then we're going to move on to our dirty pour. I'm really liking how these panels are turning out, even though I'm like griping about how it's expensive <laughs> and how I don't do it all the time. Um, what I just got is pretty cool. So I'm kind of impressed. All right, again, I did this. I did everything with this as the pour medium. So for this, I'm going to just take this cup and I'm gonna pour my white in first. It's the one I have the most of. And I really don't care if this dries. It's going to seal and it's going to dry just because um, it, is, it, it is a sealer and it's a glue. So just keep that in mind. Then the next one I'm going to do is going to be my blue. Okay. And then I'm going to do my yellow. Oh, look, my watch. It's my little boy in Spider-Man, his namesake. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my green. And it kind of looks like there's some cell division in this, which is interesting because I've put nothing in for cell division. All right, now is the fun part. I'm going to take my panel. I have stuff on my fingers. I'm going to take my panel and I am going to just turn it over and I have this under here to keep it elevated. I'm going to put it on top like this and this is just an arts and craft panel and then I'm going to flip it over, set it on this like so and Voila. So let's see what we get on this one. That's a pretty cool coverage. Super important that when you are working with your Ultra Mod Podge that you have it elevated 
because it will seal to anything it comes in contact with. Wow. Okay. So, um, wow. This is very cool. Again, I'm just moving my box around. I'm just trying to get complete coverage and I'm actually dripping out of my box. So I'm going to have to go set this over something as it dries because this one corner is being a stickler and I'm going to wipe it up just in a minute. All right. That is pretty awesome. Woo! So in conclusion, you guys, I think that I'm going to have to say that, um, I, I like this. Like, I'm probably gonna, oh, I'm leaking over there too. I'm probably going to do this. If I do it again, it's definitely going to be with this, um, ultra as my, as my little, you know, thing that holds it all together with the paint. Cause this is super duper cool. That's awesome. All right. Um, so I will have products listed down below. I'm not sure if Mod Podge Ultra is available anywhere except through their website and Walmart, which is awesome, right, Walmart? But I, if I find it, I will link it. Please share this video if you know of anyone who's into paint pouring and would like to try it this way. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments down below, please um, leave them. And yes, I've made a mess, so I have to go clean up. <laughs> Until next time, happy crafting.